What's up everybody? Today I'm going to break down the bench press. Now while this is usually considered a pretty simple exercise because you just you lay down there and you bench, you push it, right? Wrong. There's a lot that goes into the bench press, a lot that people miss, a lot that I want to really just break down and really be able to teach you all the fundamentals, really what goes into benching and how to increase your bench, sticking points, and just really why the bench press is considered the holy grail of chest exercise is it is it not we might not never know but so whenever you do lay down on the bench there is five points of contact we want our hands on the bar we want our upper back on the bench we want our lower butt on the bed on the bench and we want our feet on the floor now when we're in this con when we're in this position this is called five point contact when we're in this position we want to take the bar about shoulder width, a little bit wider. Depending on where you put your hands, it's gonna really depend on what part of your chest or your shoulder tricep that you're emphasizing. So we all know close grip exercise, you're gonna end up hitting more of your triceps. Wide grip bench press, you're gonna get more of your shoulders involved. So that's where that differs. So depending on how much you want the shoulders involved, how much you want the triceps involved, it's just gonna depend on where you place your hands. For most, you're trying to target the chest, so you want in between both. You don't want to go super wide, you don't want to go super close. I usually go a little bit out past shoulder width. So that seems to be about the best for everybody. Now, after you have your hands where you need them, what you need to do is, you'll be able to see this in the video of whenever I'm actually benching, but you need to set your shoulders back and retract your back and almost pinch fit like there's a nickel in between your shoulder blades. This is gonna give you a very firm platform to push off of. If you don't have this firm platform, your shoulders tend to sag around the bench and it makes it more difficult to push off because you have to use more of your shoulders to push. Now once you have the flat platform, you want to take your hands almost like you're bending the bar in half. So you have a hold of bar, you're gonna be bending it in half while you have your shoulders back and while your shoulders are pinched. So, what we're looking at here, shoulders back, pinched, hands here, almost like we're bending the bar. We're gonna bring it down on our chest. We're gonna keep this here, and we're gonna explode off. Now, whenever we do this though, we do not wanna protract our shoulders. So, whenever you come down, you don't wanna come up, you don't wanna lift your shoulders off the bench. Your shoulders should stay back and intact with the bench. You lift your shoulders up off, off the bench, you're asking for injury in your shoulder. And the bench press isn't supposed to be for your shoulders. You don't really want to overload the shoulder. It's not a very beneficial thing. It, the shoulder is very prone to injury. And in this position, it, it is a, a very high, you, there's a lot of people that injure their chest and their shoulder due to this. So it's just something to be aware of. There's multiple different modalities you can use with this. So if you want, for example, like I said, you can do close grip, wide grip, that's up to you, depending on what you wanna do. You can also twist your hands the other way. I don't necessarily recommend this for uh, intermediate beginner people, just cause it's pretty difficult. But if you're more advanced, you can take the bench and have your hands supinated. And when you bring it down, you're gonna get much more tricep activation whenever you push off. You can also utilize chains. This is gonna increase the lockout of your bench. It lowers the weight as you go down and then when you come back up, more weights increase at the top of the weight. This is a similar thing as a slingshot by Mark Bell. You can also use that. Same same concept. Slingshot takes a little bit, a lot more pressure off your shoulder though. Um, kind of what it was designed for. We can also utilize bands, resistance bands, and we can take them from the top of a cage and put them on there, which would make it much the same thing, lighter at the bottom full weight at the top, or you can reverse do that and put them from the bottom so that it's light to the bottom and heavy to the top. They all do pretty much the same thing. It just depends on what you have available, what you'd like to do. Um, you can also use board presses, same thing again. Depending on what area of your chest, of your bench press that you're stuck at, you can use a one, two, three, and four board with a one being more for your lift off if you're having a struggle there. And then the three, four, more for lockout and triceps. Um, depending on what your goals are, so if you're looking more for strength, you're gonna wanna be in the more to one to five range um, for reps. If you're looking for power, 
probably still one to five, just with less weight, more explosiveness. And if you're looking for hypertrophy, you're in more of the eight to 12 range, depending on what percent of your max you're using. And then lastly, if you're looking for for muscular endurance throughout your chest, then you can use a higher or less weight with higher reps, usually between 12 and 20. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So just some key points. And also, whenever you come down, you really want to emphasize coming down slow, letting the chest stretch, and then exploding off the top. You breathe out on the way up, stretch on the way down. You let your know, muscles stretch and tear apart. You need those micro tears for your chest to grow. And then you explode off the, bo off the, off the bottom. Now, the big thing people miss, not just in the bench press, but in like all exercises, is that you try to cheat the exercise. You try to cheat the bench press. You lift your butt off the bench, no, that's bad. Why would you cheat it? Uh, you protract your shoulders to try and get that last inch up there. No, it's bad, you're just gonna hurt yourself. Um, you lift your feet off the bench, off the floor, that doesn't even help. Um, but really, you, if you wanna get stronger or grow muscle, you don't wanna cheat the exercise. You actually wanna make the exercise as difficult as possible. So, and then doing that, you wanna bring it down slowly, stretch the muscle fibers, this eccentric portion of the lift, and then explode up as hard as you can, breathing out. And this is gonna make it as more difficult than normal. So if you're just throwing weight around, not really thinking about it, just going through the motion, it's not gonna be difficult, and you're not gonna grow much muscle mass. But if you take your time, you put yourself in the five point body, con body contact, you bend the bar, roll your shoulders back, Pull it back into the bench and explode off the top, off the bottom, and really focus on stretching the pecs. You're gonna get a lot more out of the bench press than you normally would. Those are my recommendations.